What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. Today I want to talk quickly about Battlefield 5 as a whole and has it improved since launch. The game has been out for around five months now. Of course it was delayed from October till the end of November. So it's been out five going on six months and personally after not playing consistently for several months, uh, you know, just playing kind of here and there, not playing every day, I do see a good bit of improvement to the game. It kind of feels like Battlefield 4 to me. You know, Battlefield 4 started out, it was kind of messed up, broken, a lot of people didn't like it. And as the game went on, it was improved upon, and it's still a very popular game to this day. And it looks like DICE is going to be doing that with Battlefield 5. There's been a lot of improvement since launch. I feel the game plays better. It's less buggy. Now, there are some bugs still, don't get me wrong, but it still feels like a more, a more polished, improved game. And the reason I think that is, is because of the time they've had to work on it now. And back when it was released and it was delayed the first time from October to November, I was really hoping DICE would delay this game to probably January of this year. I think if they will wait until January, February of this year, March, I think it would have been a lot better game on release. But that's a lot of games these days. They seem kind of broken when they come out and get fixed along the way. The bad thing is people give up on it early. I always try to go back and play games after a lot of updates, after a lot of changes. And I've been reading there were some good changes to Battlefield Five, And there has been. Of course, a lot of people like Firestorm. Firestorm's a little slow, in my opinion, just kind of for my taste. That's kind of how Battle Royale is in general for me. But... DICE does have complete control of Firestorm now, so I think there will be some improvements to Firestorm as well now that DICE is controlling kind of all the aspects of that. Content-wise, a lot of people were disappointed there was not a lot of maps, and I still think that's one thing that kind of hurt the game to begin with, but DICE has announced they're working on more maps than ever. There will be five new maps within between now and the summer months, and they said there will be more maps to come by fall and winter, so that is looking good for the map, you know, kind of the map rotation. And I think a lot of things need to be improved upon with the maps. I don't feel like it's a, a very good atmosphere with some of these maps. Some of them are great, but Battlefield has always been kind of about atmosphere. When the map is just kind of overtakes you when you're playing it, it's just incredible to look at and play. Things like Operation Metro come to mind. People just really enjoy that. And I think the, the maps kind of are lacking some atmosphere. And hopefully these newer maps will improve upon that. It is a game that I think is... A lot better, in my personal opinion, than it was upon its release. And I think if DICE continues this trend, it will become a better game. It still has a big player base, in my opinion, on PS4. I still see a lot of lobbies with people in it, you know, always full, that kind of thing. So if it's a game that you can catch kind of, you know, on sale right now and you want to play it, I would definitely recommend picking it up and playing it. If it's something you don't see on sale right now, I would wait probably a little bit longer and just to see if these improvements really come through and how much of a better game it becomes but as of right now i think it's a lot better than it was as as of release day and i would recommend playing it or going back to play it if you have not in a while anyway guys if you'd like to hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace